Philippe Lombard is the co-chair of the Greens, European Free Lines Group in the European Parliament. Good to see you, sir. Good to see you. What happens next? Who knows? Well, maybe you know better than I do because I can only guess what the heads of states and governments are going to do. If I were them, I would say I would grant a short unconditional extension to give Theresa May time to alter her strategy. So far, her strategy has been I'm going to run down the clock and hope that staring into the abyss, Westminster will vote the deal. So if that is failing, she needs to find a majority right. or something else. You've just said a short, unconditional extension. Exactly. But there's no way you can put together another deal in six months, in no. three months. The EU has pretty much said this is the only deal I on agree. the table. And I support that. So what purpose to find another solution? Find a no, no, not another solution, another strategy for the British government. So far... Which means what, though? But what does that mean when you say another strategy? Well, obviously, the political process in Westminster is blocked. So if you want to unblock it, it's either new elections or a second referendum. And for that, you need time. But first, you need to see whether there's a majority to go either, well, to go back to the voter either through elections or through a new referendum. And, well, if there is a majority of, in Westminster in order to do that, then we should grant the time that is necessary for that. But, but you're talking about a much longer. I agree. Because, you know, you may offer, you may offer a short six-week, six-month six extension. No, 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 no. I'm talking about a one-month extension, unconditional, and basically to we do would what? ask the, for the Prime Minister to come back within that month with a credible strategy that has a majority in Westminster. That is what I would do. I would offer that to say, well, you have another month, your run-down-the-clock strategy has failed, find something else. But would that only work if you, if you basically also, even though it's unconditional, you basically also say your plan cannot be part of the final uh, agreement? In the sense that don't take this month we're giving you just to go back and have another bash at your plan. Exactly. So, so I mean, uh, giving, giving, no, giving extra time to run down the clock longer makes no sense. The demand on our side would be devise an alternative strategy. If Westminster cannot make up its mind, then maybe the British people should. It doesn't look good. No, it doesn't. I know that. Do you think that we are closer or further away? What is the relationship tonight to a no-deal Brexit? Well, I think that we are inching closer towards a no-deal Brexit, so probably uh, the EU leaders would grant some extra time, but Macron is right. I mean, barring a, a change of attitude from the British government or Westminster or the British people, well, the logical conclusion, since the withdrawal agreement has been rejected twice already, is no-deal Brexit. Can we get to a no-deal Brexit? Do you think that a no-deal Brexit still has a real possibility? Absolutely, absolutely. Because that's what happens by default when time is running out. So, but, but if they get this unconditional, if they get an unconditional extension... Short one, I say. Then she has to immediately take the weight off March 29th. Yes. This next week she has to do I know, that. I know, I know. And she may not put another date on there, or she put another date at the end of the year. I know, and this is why I've been saying, well... Immediately, I think that Donald Tusk's reaction yesterday was the right one, to say, OK, we are going to give you a conditional right. extension right. until the 22nd of May at the latest. Oh, it is. But well, if they decide that, it's fine by me. Room? What are you hearing from the room? Well, that now they're talking about unconditional until May, which is, to me, a dangerous combination. If it's unconditional, it has to be very short. If it's conditional, it can be a bit longer. But what you don't want is that any delay collides with the European election. You've got to admit, this is... This is an extraordinary business tonight. I agree. I agree. But uh, to be honest, uh, when you look at it from a distance, and you know that scientists give us 12 years to change course to avoid drastic climate change, Brexit takes another dimension, you know? And we have people demonstrating in the streets every week in, in Belgium, and that makes me think, well, that Brexit may be actually a distraction. Good to see you, sir. We'll allow it to distract us no more.